Alrighty, all connected. I have um, set up the Wi-Fi connection, which is showing up here. Um, and that was because I just had to try three or four times to get it to connect. Um, it connected and I opened up Flashprint and straight away uh, went over to Tools, um, whatever it was, Find Machine, and it detected Finder 3 and has automatically changed the build area ready for that. So we'll be going on to that in a moment and I will be opening up and printing a benchy. Yay! So we've got a repair model thing, yada yada. So yes, we'll be doing this exact print as part of the setup. But first, uh, let's see what we've got down here. Attempt to do this with one hand. Right, so we've got um, control, uh, load filament maybe. Extruder is heating. Over here, we're going to feed the filament through. We go. We'll wait until it pops out this side. There you go. Right, and then I think we need to push that in, pop down on this, and the filament should feed in. So it's not easy to do with one hand, but yeah, press down on that button, push the filament, and I believe, yep, yeah, that's got hold of it. Now we can just feed that tube into it, and everything looks good over here. There you go. So it comes in back, round the tube, hi, and into the top. Little lever on front as you feed filament in, which I've done. And meanwhile, the extruder is now at 170 degrees. While that finishes off, you will notice I've put the print sideways um, because the depth of this unit it's on isn't enough and to have the filament dry behind it. So sideways gives me that. It just makes the front screen a little bit more awkward to get to, but most of it I'll be doing through Wi-Fi anyway, so that's not an issue for me. Okay, loading about one to two minutes. That's okay when you pull it appears. So, <coughs> attempt to put that up here. There's a little bit of yellow ooze. starting to come through to the pink. Let's just uh, help that off. There you go. And okay. Are you sure you want to cancel load? Okay. There you go. Done. It is loaded. Let's get rid of that. Next up is levelling. The so moving on to levelling machine. I've, I've only had the Adventure of Free before this, so this is new to me. So we're going to click on level. Says pre adjusting, please wait. Okay, so if we come up to the top here, you can see the um, bed is raising up to the nozzle now. Right, it says click the arrow to adjust the platform so that it just touches the nozzle. Okay, we're going to pop this underneath if I can put that there and then try and hold this with one hand we're going to just bring the platform down I'll bring the platform up sorry it stops it way short on like six or seven so I'm now down to 3, 2.0, 2.1. There's a little bit of resistance. Oh no, I can see it's still not touching in there. So oh, I can attempt to go 
one closer, minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.2, minus 0 0.3. Now that looks pretty close. Still not quite touching, so we're going to go to 4, minus 0.4. Yeah, it's definitely no drag there. So we could go one more, but it was dragging the paper, which for me is a little bit too close for comfort. So we're going to give it a go with that. Back on front, we're at minus 0.4, so we're going to click next. And it's moving to point number two. So the bed's coming down. You can see where the bed does. Uh, maybe it's where I'm holding the camera, but it does seem to have a slight give to it anyway. Unscrew corresponding knot on the platform until touching the nozzle. Okie dokie. Okay, all leveled. I've done it so there's for definite friction, but um, it's not trapped in the paper. And it says calibration is stored, extruder is homing. Thank <laughs> you. 